And um, I'm going to lead up to this next one a little bit. Um, we're sitting here um, trying to get this moving along, and it's April, early April. And I called the Canal Corp, and we wanted to get, we wanted to name the park G. Winston Davis Park. So you have to go through the right channel. So I called down to Carmel Mattel, and I get a hold of her press secretary, and I said, "What steps do we have to do to get G. Winston Davis Park named?" And so she told me, we went over all that. Then she says, "You know, you should get a hold of this woman called Lori." Scoop, and Lori does art, uh, art walks on water. And uh, I happened to tell her that I met this person. Um, I was going down to my daughter's admissions down to Casanova College, and we're sitting there. I'm trying to get her brownie points. And, you know, if you can get two thousand dollars off tuition, it's great. So I said to the dean, I said, "My daughter's been working on this community mural," and uh, and I showed her the picture on the webpage. And my um, the, the dean says, "You got to meet Corky." I says, okay, give me his phone number. So I, I call up uh, Corky on the way home, leave him a message, and three days later, Corky calls me up and says, what's this mural mania? And from that day on, we've been talking uh, almost every night, and he's a great guy, and um, he got so excited because he's been looking for a place to make a mural town USA. And he decided to come to Lyons. He came down when we were doing our community mural down, and Legacies, Dan Legacies um, uh, Ironworks. He gave us a great spot to paint that. So we were down there. And uh, Corky came and made a great presentation. Luke shows up with three of his friends, and they learn about local history, which is great. And and from and Corky got us all really excited, and he's been in touch. And then um, Sean Dobbins, who was right behind me here, um, saw his presentation and said, I'd like to do, do a mural for uh, my dad generations and so Corky did that and without further ado I'd like to bring Corky up who had a great imprint print on right here and across the street and hopefully more, many more does Chip want to talk with you it's up to you guys Corky Goss Art in Public Places Casanova Art Project and uh, first I want to congratulate James on his uh, work down the street it's always good to see fine young muralists getting started, part of the revival that's going on. <clears throat> and uh, I uh, probably won't be quite as brief as, uh, as uh, young James. <laughs> I still don't know how Mark controls the weather like this. It's, it's amazing, he hasn't told me a secret yet. Four score and 20 years ago to date. Oh, wait a minute, that's the wrong speech. <laughs> oh, it's the costumes, that's what threw me. <laughs> and you know, I want to thank a lot of people today because obviously we don't do these things alone. But uh, I, I really have to start first with thanking uh, my team member, my partner in crime, Chip Miller, right over here. And uh, yeah, Chip Miller, he's steadfast. He's uh, always on focus, brutally honest, and extremely talented. So we want to remember Chip, and that's why I'll be saying we a lot. It's not because I'm royal, it's just because it's the two of us. But you know, Lions does seem like it's unstuck in time in a way. Holding the past with the buildings that are around us, yet it's in the present with each uh, passing hello on the street. And so importantly, always anticipating the future of this fine, small, all-American town. Lyons has its own storied past, as do all the towns of the Erie Canal. That past exists right now, and mural painting can share that past and shape the future of this fine community. Our first impression of downtown Lyons was one of striking architecture, something I think Disneyland must have used probably as a model, an ideal model of the past. It's grand, it's ornate, it's very human, and I think so importantly, extremely well built. And yet some of these gems in your fine town must go. But let's be sure to see the awesome intrinsic value 
of these old storied places, surely if there was a road show, an antiques road show for towns, this town would be on that show. And it would be highly, highly valued. If these buildings, for instance, were antique chairs, they'd be on the road show and considered brilliant masterpieces. And I, I must say it's nice to add a couple of brilliant masterpieces of our own. But enough of that shameless self-promotion. When I said lions seem like uh, Main Street at Disneyland, I, I didn't really mean that the community were, were like the Disney characters. That's not what I meant. But seeing you all today, it's maybe I'm a little bit wrong. When, when a person like Jimmy Fabian, Fabino, town supervisor, shows up with coffee at 8 in the morning on a Sunday, hot and bright, and the groundskeeper traveling around downtown says hello every morning and stops to chat. And the hardware guys and the shopkeepers prove out to be the salt of the earth. And the bankers and the shoppers and children and really just everybody in the town expresses support for what we were doing. Well, it, it reinforces what I know. And that is that mural painting transforms places, it builds community, and it promotes learning. We, Chip and I, have learned so much that we have to thank all of you for being here to celebrate and continue to forge mutual understanding about the possibilities. I want to thank all of the leadership that has been involved in this and in this day today, this event. I want to thank the community of Lyons in Wayne County. And I especially have to thank Randy Mitchell, Sean Dobbins, and the entire Dobbins family. And a very, very special thanks to Mark DeCracker and to Noel Dobbins, who sat down with us to dinner at Trombino's on our first visit to Lyons and gave us a darn good talking to. And I, I think you know what I mean when I say a darn good talking to. Now, Noel couldn't be with us here today, but of course our prayers are certainly with him as we dedicate these murals to the community of Lyons. And as Noel would say, now let's get out and have another great day in Lyons. This is the little canal town that roared. Thank you all very much for being here. glad to have Porky and Chip around this summer. I have to say that when the paintbrushes were put away, it was a kind of a depressing time for me. I'd come down every day and James would be painted and Corky and Chip, and it really was a letdown. So hopefully they'll be back in town, and I don't care if they even go to neighboring towns, just to make it keep happening. Okay, we're on to some of the people that...